A brown snake bite is a very serious snake bite. It can be difficult to detect. The, the local appearance of a snake bite from a brown snake bite can be very superficial marks, uh, puncture marks, uh, not necessarily painful, but the hallmark of a brown snake bite is early collapse. A brown snake venom interferes with the clotting factor in your bloodstream. It causes the blood to thin out, and one of the earliest indicators is people will lose consciousness. They may lapse in and out of consciousness, but if you have somebody, if you're out on a picnic or you're camping, and somebody loses consciousness, of all the many things that might go through your mind as to what's wrong with them, snake bite ought to be one of them. Look for indications of a puncture mark. If you find puncture marks that you think might be a snake bite, if their blood has been thinned out, if they've lost its ability to clot, you would expect a persistent ooze to be coming from the bite site, and that would be a strong indicator of a snake bite. If somebody is severely affected by a brown snake, they'll, they'll arrive at a condition known as coagulopathy, that's where all the fibrogen or the clotting factor in your blood has been used up. The blood will be thin and watery. The risk factors for the victim become heart attack, organ bleed, or, or some sort of brain hemorrhage. And as a result of having the thin blood, their body will struggle to maintain equilibrium and they'll potentially lapse in and out of consciousness. So if someone loses consciousness, uh, always suspect possibly a snake bite. If a child comes up to you from the backyard and says they've had something to do with a snake, get right on the front foot, put the compression bandage on, immobilize the limb and get the story later.